Hello everyone, my name is Shan. Today I'm going to I'm going to say the summary of part two Harold Henry's school election. So now let's start. Harold Henry's school election by Francesca Simon read by Miranda Richardson. Sorry about that. Just an accident with the helmet. So, no, no. So, how long does Horace Henry have to wait of Miss Oldboy bragging about about school assembly? Like no, like hanging, hanging the hanging coats on hang lines, or? Run on the corridor. Oh, about the school. Wait a minute. What was Miss Top? What was Miss Hopper talking about? So we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a school election next week. Whoever wins, raise your hand if you want to nominate someone. Me, said Susan. I nominate Margaret. I upset. Sim Margaret. Margaret school president for her. Wait a minute. That Horn Henry's hand shot out. I oh, nominate like me! Said Horn Henry. You? I second it! Said Ruth Ralph. Horn Henry would make Ruth Ralph his new chairmaker. If he'd like it. Or sweets maker. Or. Maker. Yay! Then I'll have an idea. Good. We will have. Okay then. Who one more nominates? Is that all? Okay then. I'll nominate. Done. The best upboard. Ah oh, no. We have two. We have two. We have two, two person who want to be, who want to be school president, and our uh, and whoever wins will have to do, will have to boss all round. Good, good," said Sir Henry as he will win the election. Sir Henry put out posters every day. Tomorrow, tomorrow. It was tomorrow. Oh, Henry put out posters more than Margaret. Margaret gave things to everyone to get accept her. Then Margaret just. Then, Oh, Henry and Margaret had a battle of their posters. They they made an argument and fought each other to win school president. Henry got some. Henry got most of them, but Margaret get got more most almost. The. Then it was and it was tomorrow again. Long, Harry Henry, Woody Margaret said her speech of being school president. Then Horde Henry said his speech of being school president. And so on, I will, when I'm president, I'll give you sweets, chocolates, and ice cream only in lunchtime. And I and more crisps every day in lunchtime. And I just saw and I just found out Margaret's. Margaret's top secret plan. I copied it to show it to you. Margaret's top secret plan. No more sweets. No more chips. No more swizzy whiz drinks. No more snacks. No smack chapel. Just vegetables. No. No recess. No. Five out ex. Five out extra home. Five out. Five extra hours at night. I didn't wrote that. Said Margaret family. Ban Chris, ban Mark, ban Chris, ban, ban Chris, ban dessert, ban football, ban, ban, ban play time. And if uh, and if you both me, I will give no homework. I will give no homework. Just freedom. 
I'll give you toys if you will give me sweets or chocolate. Henry! 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 shouted the crowd. Oh, Margaret! 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 shouted Susan, only Susan. Henry! 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 shouted the crowd. I guess Henry won! Vote for Henry! Yay! said Henry. He won! He would make he would make all those promises. Yay! Trailed everyone. Then, then Miss Opal whispered to Henry, "You have to do all the chores in the school." What? Even the learning. What? Even the learning. What? Ah! Henry fainted. But before he fainted, he said, he said, I'm resigned. Then he fainted. Boom. So this is the end of my part two, part two summary. And I'll see you next time in my part three. Part three. Bye.